What's up guys? Do you have a door in your house that just is out of place and you think a bar door really livened that up? Well, we did. This is our pantry. It used to be a five-fold door. When it was open, it made for a real narrow walkway. This opening is only a 22-inch opening and so it really used up a lot of that space. So we thought the best option was to hang this barn door. I'm Tom with Call the Shots. And today, I'm going to teach you the easiest way to do it. Hit that subscribe button while I go get some tools. We are mounting a 33 inch wide by 84 inch tall door. We're going to be using 60 inch rails and we're going to mount our rail to a one by six piece of pine that we're going to paint the same color as the wall. The reason we use that pine is it acts as a header. So that way we can mount to real wood rather than trying to screw our rails into just sheetrock. That won't work very well. The door is being painted Greek Villa. is the same color as our cabinet remodel. If you want to see videos on that, once we get that video up, I will post a link for it and you can follow that here. We started by laying our door on our floor with our board and we laid our rails out. And we got an idea of what we wanted that to look like. And then we measured from the bottom of the door to the bottom of our board. And that lined up to be 84 inches. Of course, we don't want our door to drag across the floor of our house. So we added an extra half inch. So this board gets mounted 84 and a half inches from our floor. So we started with a stud finder, marked where our studs are. Hung our board up, we held it even with the edge of the wall, and it just carried all the way over. We weren't too concerned about where that lined up quite yet. First, we have to get the door figured out. So first we lean the door up where we wanted it, and we put a mark where the edge of the door would be closed. Then we move the door open over to where it was going to be open. And we put a mark where it would be open. Then we held our rail up and centered that up between our two openings so everything is uniform on each side and marked it. And then we held our board two inches past our rail and cut that off. Our rollers stick up over the top of our rail. And so to give it a uniform look, we decided to hold the bottom of our rail one inch over the bottom of our piece of wood. We drilled our holes for our rail. Once we got all that done, we put it up on the wall, screwed everything together. and we have ourselves a working barn door. But we didn't stop there. We decided to take it one step further. We wanted this to look like this door belonged here from day one in the construction process. We didn't want it to look chintzy. So we filled in our screw holes and sanded them smooth and gave it a layer of paint. And now everything just looks absolutely perfect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 